Hey, guess who's live with the podcast this morning? Oh man, why am I got no audio? This guy right here, we're live today on today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. All right, I can't this tell this tells me I have no audio, but this tells me I do. So, if you can hear me, leave me, leave a comment. Otherwise, just leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Boy, I sure am glad that you're live today, whatever the case may be. I'm happy to be back live. I look, loved, love, love doing the stuff that I did this week so far this week that required me to pre-record, but I sure do enjoy being here doing this show live with you guys. So here we are this week. We've been talking about, um, uh, success and, and kind of when all the right things happen. Okay, good. Thank you. When all the right things happen and, and some of the, the downsides when everything goes right. And so one of the things that I wanted to, to talk about, and all, all of that was kind of leading up to this topic. This is kind of the crescendo for the week here. Um, and, and it's, it's, it's captured and articulated well, um, in this phrase, I, it, it's kind of a quote. I always hesitate to call things. I say a quote, but fear is the glue that keeps you stuck. Courage is the solvent that sets you free. Fear is the glue that keeps you stuck. Courage is the solvent that sets you free. In fact, look at this. I can even put some of that there on the screen. Here's how this plays out. We can have a fear of failure and that fear can be debilitating. We cannot do something because we are afraid we will fail. Like, I mean, that we, we face that fear all the time, right? I, I, I don't want to try and walk across the street. I might get hit by a car, right? We, we change our behavior based on a fear of failure. But the more insidious fear is the fear of success. Now, run with me here on this for a minute, okay? If we are successful, if we achieve the outcome that we are setting out to pursue, well, well then what? And it's that f fear of the unknown, that's one, fear of the unknown that says, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to pull back just a little bit. I'm not going to try as hard as I could because if I do, I actually might achieve that and then I'm afraid of the outcome or afraid of not knowing what's next or afraid like me. Right, here's a blinding shot of transparency for you guys. I, and, and some of you know this story for a very long time. I have avoided partnerships because the last one I had ended very poorly, right? Really bad. And one of the takeaways that I took away from that is, well, you know, if you don't have a business that's doing really well, then there's nothing for people to come after. If you don't have stuff, if you don't, it, if you don't have things that other people want, then they won't come in and fight you for them. So, so that's, I mean, that's a fear of success also. I know, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt, I have no reservations, no compunctions whatsoever that applied, I can make great things happen. I've demonstrated that over and over and over again to other people and, and to me, and I've helped other people achieve great things. And yet, for, for years since this thing occurred in, the early 2000s, 
it's always been a struggle for me to say, okay, I'm going to go build something good for me because I've always got this lingering thing going on back here. Okay. That the, the building it is easy. That's not hard. The hard part's keeping it. And so that's been something that has throttled back, throttled me back. All right. So that's the fear. What is fear? Fear is an emotion. Fear is electrical and chemical signals in your body. They're really there to tell you to pay attention, right? If, if you stump your toe on something, that's a signal from your toe to your brain to say, Hey, pick your feet up, right? I mean, that's how that works. Courage is action in the presence of fear. It's not the absence of fear at all. Not the absence of fear altogether, which a lot of people equate to courage. It's really action in the face of fear. You cannot demonstrate courage in the absence of fear, right? So if fear is what keeps your feet glued to the ground, courage in this little quote we're working with this morning is the solvent that sets you free. So in the grand, in this big scheme of what we're talking about this week, when things go really, really well, right? and you feel overwhelmed and you feel burdened and you feel like you don't know what to do next. Is there a possibility that there is a lingering fear of success that you don't know what you're going to do with that success? You don't know if you're going to be able to keep that success. You don't know if your friends and your family are going to look at you the same way once you've had that success. Don't know if you can live in the same place. I mean, there's a, a, a friend of mine, very popular YouTuber, had to move. People who started showing up at their house, they, they moved and won't tell anybody, you know, not, not on YouTube anyway, don't tell anybody where they live. I mean, all of these things have happened. Does that make them rational fears? I, yeah, I, I guess. But all of those things could be playing into why you're throttling back. So start looking at that. This, just ask the question, what, if this happens, if I'm successful, what's the worst thing that could happen? And start looking for those things that might be manifestations of fear of success. And then you do the same thing you do with fears of failure. What's the worst thing? What's the best thing? What's the most likely thing? And then proceed imperfectly. Fear can keep us as shadows of what we could be. Well, that's good, Joe. Deep, 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 deep. Do extremely, doing extremely well is the best revenge for those that have done you wrong. Amen, brother. I'm, I'm with you. In more ways than one. There is fear that's a warning and there is fear that's a mirage trying to hold you back. Fear that's a mirage. It's still a fear. Um, the, the way that our, our brain, our body, our mind processes that is still a fear. And, and a made up. So we, we talk a little bit about this idea that your mind doesn't know the difference between the memory of something you really experienced and the memory of something you imagined. Right. That's why we can remember dreams. It's still stored in there as a memory. Okay. Well, if the thing that I made up or imagined is something painful and I'm afraid of experiencing that, that's still a very real fear to me. I, my body, my mind experiences that in exactly the same way as the fear of pain at the dentist because I've experienced that, right? So the, the difference is we have more discrete control over this made up fear, right? It's, it's a lot like, um, expectations and perceptions, right? Our perceptions are our reality. If we believe that this trip to the dentist is going to be painful, then guess what? It will be. If on the other hand, it's like, cool, I get to lay back here for 30 minutes and listen to my podcast. It'll be awesome, right? It's like going to the bank in 15 minutes or five minutes versus 30 minutes. 
the all of it, it's it's made up. Okay, that doesn't make it any less real. It just means that we have more discrete control over it. So whether it's a fear of failure or a fear of success, we can start looking at it. So well, where does that fear come from? Am I afraid of success because I had a friend who did that and got so successful they had to move. They couldn't stay in their house. Okay. That's where, if that's where that fear comes from, what's most likely, least likely, you know, best, best that could happen, worst that could happen, most likely. And what can I do to mitigate that? And then, I mean, that's how, that's how you address fear, right? And, and at some point you have to demonstrate courage. All right. I've done everything I can to mitigate it. I think this is the most likely outcome. I'm going to jump. I've checked my parachute, my reserve chute. I had somebody else check it. I've got somebody experienced here with me to help me out in case things go wrong. All right, here we go. You just have to do it. Or you can sit there. Now, this is where, and I disagreed with this for a long time, that, that, that suffering is, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Right? That's a, that, that's a Tony Robbins and actually it comes from um um the hindu religion it is it has that premise in it also the point being that i can choose to sit here and allow this made up fear to create pain and discomfort in my life or i can face that fear and, and just get rid of it and until you face it and get rid of it it's always going to be there whether it's fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the dentist, fear of crossing the street, doesn't matter. So, great comments. So, thank you guys for doing that. Listen, uh, before you go, right underneath the video, there's a share button. Go ahead and click on that share button. Send this to somebody in your life, in your circle of, of influence that you know who's facing some kind of uh, fear this morning. Excuse me. Whether that's fear of failure or fear of success, there's good stuff in here that can help them move along from that. They'll appreciate you, and I will too. It's Wednesday. You guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Be back here live again tomorrow, so don't miss that. Go ahead and set the reminder. Depending on where you're watching or listening, click the like, click the follow, click the ring the bell for notifications, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And don't forget, if you got value, thumbs up, stars, heart, likes, whatever works for you where you are. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday. Uh, yeah, later.